If you need to fine tune your trigger's pull weight or just wanna know what your trigger's doing, a trigger pull gauge is a must. Gavin Gear here from ultimatereloader.com. In this video, I wanna show you a new tool I just got. It's the Lyman Digital Electronic Trigger Pull Gauge. What we're gonna do is we're gonna test my 2545 Sharps AR15. And we're gonna test my Smith & Wesson 329 PD to see how heavy the trigger pull weights are. Let's get straight to it. So I remove the packaging. This is the unit in its case, which it comes with. And to set it up, there's really only two things you need to do. It comes with batteries, which is great. And you need to remove the protective film so they'll have electrical contact. That turns the unit on. And then there's a screen protector, a little bit of film there that you need to rip off. And then the instructions are back here in the case, which I like because you don't have to keep them separate. There's a nice place to, to tuck them away. So let's put this trigger pull gauge to use. So the most important thing is safety. We've got to dry fire the weapon to perform this testing. So we need to make doubly, triply, even quadruply sure that we're completely unloaded prior to testing. Okay, good to go here with the 329 PD. And to use the gauge, if it's off like it is now, just push any of the buttons and it'll go through kind of a startup sequence and turn on. Then you extend this rod and it clicks into position. But I'll note that if you retract it, you can actually index it into any of the 90 degree orientations for a full rotation, which is cool. I'm gonna go ahead and point the rod away from the display. And then all we need to do is press ready, repair the weapon. And I've got to stop here on my bench because I'm trying to have really consistent pull force here. I'm gonna keep this rod here perfectly parallel with the axis of the bore. We're gonna go ahead and take our time here take our measurement, four pounds, 10.4 ounces. We can clear the result by just hitting the clear button. It'll store up to 10 values and average them if we hit the average button. Uh, let's go ahead and do a double action trigger pull, actually multiples. So we just hit ready again, get the audible beep, and then I'm just gonna really carefully pull this straight back, okay? 11 pounds, 8.9 ounces. Hit ready again. Okay. Nine pounds, 13 ounces. I pulled it a little bit slower that time. Let's do this again. Okay, I'm gonna go nice and slow here. Whoops, 11 pounds, 2.1 ounces. That was closer to our full one. I'm gonna hit ready again. Okay, and one more time. Okay, 11 pounds, 0.3 ounces. So we're right there in the 11 range as long as we're consistent with how we're pulling the trigger. If we hit the average button, then we get 10 pounds, 14.1 ounces average. So there's a quick test of a handgun. Let's check out a rifle. Okay, for a rifle, it's the same basic process. We're gonna make sure that the weapon is unloaded. I'm gonna drop the bolt. It's gonna pull the hammer back at the same time. And then I'm gonna Extend my rod into the same position I used last time. Hit the ready button and then pull back very, very carefully. So we're at three pounds, 7.4 ounces. Let's go ahead and run another test. Okay, drop the bolt again. Be very careful to be parallel. Three pounds, 7.6 ounces, only 0.2 ounces different. That's a great result. So if you absolutely must know what's going on with your trigger, check out the Lyman Electronic Digital Trigger Pull Gauge. And don't forget, I've got a full write-up. Just click on the first link in the video description. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any of the metalworking, gunsmithing, shooting, reloading action here on Gavin Tube, make sure you subscribe to my channel with notifications. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.